Godzilla and Kong running. So this is like a meme at this point. <laughs> Godzilla with the like um, purple fins and then Kong with some of that yellow infinity gauntlet on his arm. It's kind of complicated, right? So I'll try and simplify it a bit. So we got Godzilla in the front and then Kong at the back. So we start with Godzilla, right? So let's see. Okay, do our best. So his snout, right? That square snout that he has comes across like so, right? And you got a bit of like a bump for the nostril. There. And then like the hole for it. Here. And then another one sort of here. Right? So that's like his nose. And you got like skin and wrinkles and stuff on that. Side of the snout comes down. Here. And then the other side will go underneath his eye. So it kind of starts to curve around there, joins his face. And then you've got like more wrinkles and stuff all going down there. So his mouth, we got this bumping gum line because his teeth like come nearly right out of his face, like out of the skin of his face. And then like wrinkles and stuff on top of this. So teeth then. So we'll start adding those. They're kind of small, skinny, oddly shaped, different sort of shapes. There's like small ones in between. And then bigger ones as they go down a bit. But then there's some small ones as well, actually. And then you got that skin that, like, holds his mouth together, basically, like, here. Right? And then that's, like, the skin flap that sort of holds everything together there. Right in his bottom jaw, then goes down this way, around there, and then the skin comes up. I think you can see like some of his jaw kicking out this way. There's like more teeth and stuff here, and there's like some of that pink skin just there on the side, but it's kind of turned away from us, so it's slightly different. And like Godzilla's face kind of becomes his neck. So it's kind of tricky to draw that all in. So we'll just get the mouth done first and see how we go. So teeth. So again, small sort of teeth all coming up here. One this way and then there's like lots of skin and stuff here the inside of his mouth and everything and then the tongue itself so almost like underneath the middle of his snout kind of here right and then there's all skin lines and stuff all here another skin line there for like his gum or something and it's just black in around his tongue so you can't really see anything but I would imagine that's like the roof of his mouth, say if I was to do some texture there. And we'll do like just the back of his throat and stuff. Okay. And then the chin. So his chin sort of just sticks down here. It's kind of jaggedy and textured. And then he's got like all these spikes sticking out of his face. And this one's up this way towards his jaw, which like has lots of spikes on it and stuff here. And the spikes go in around the back of his head and everything. And then his jaw on this side. 
I'm just getting the shape for his face in first before we add eyes and stuff. He seems to have like lots of spikes in the side of his face here. And this giant spikes that run down his neck, it looks like all up there. And then you can add textures and stuff to all his face. So up here then, his eye is just behind his snout here. Right? So we've got like small sort of purple eye here. The thin eye, I think it's round, but I like giving Godzilla sort of thin slit of eyes. Then we've got like some eyelid lines and stuff coming around. And then that frowning sort of spiky section that goes all the way out to the back of his head here and he's got like spikes that come down it right so it's like a spiky sort of fin and then like a frown there and this will eventually run down his like his back like completely it has like all these spikes like it goes the whole way down his spine basically so it goes This is like the start of his neck and his head all goes. All these spikes are like on top of his shoulder and everything. So that's like his neck. But then in here we got like some more sort of texture lines and stuff. And like the pink circle for his eye. And then those Godzilla kind of round. cheek lines and all this stuff. We gotta color this black. All right, we'll keep going. So this is like top of his head. And then he has spikes that cut like a fin that comes up the middle, like a spiky fin runs down the back of his head then. And that's all purple and stuff as well. And then the top of his head coming down here. And we have the other frown on the other side. It sort of spikes into there. And then we go down to his cheek. So you can just see his other eye, like, and just here, like, kind of very small. Just there, and then, like, an eyelid line and stuff. cheekbone and everything in around there very spiky side to his face right like as much texture and stuff on this as you'd like now. So that's kind of his face, right? So his body then and his neck and everything is real spiky, like different amount levels of spike. So, so you're like spikes first down, say here, but just spike it the whole way. And it spikes like onto his shoulder and everything. So like say on this side, there's like a level of spike as well. And they're kind of like jaggedy and bumpy sometimes. And 
then some like coming down his neck and everything. And his neck like kind of comes in around here. So a very wide neck as well. And then in the middle, so he's got that armor sort of section here. And so it's got these curved lines, sort of like turtle shell armor. Like neck muscles and stuff here. So, then he has gills, or he should have gills. I can't see them in the picture, but I'm going to put them here. It's not Godzilla unless he got those gills. So, and then there's like little textures on them. Can't really see them on the other side, but if I was to put them somewhere, we'll go here. And then, like, lots of texture and stuff. So, then the general shape for like his chest, right? So, chest there. And your, your chest always goes out to your shoulder, so his shoulder would be in here somewhere. Right, so your chest, even if you're Godzilla, chest to be here. Anatomy is usually always the same. And then shoulder muscle. So we're going that way. Right. And then the back of his arm. Bicep. And there can, there can be spikes and stuff on the shoulder as well. And we'll just get the big long arm sort of going that way. And this comes out to like a big spiky thumb. And his hands are there, but they're just sort of... You can just see the armor on the back of the wrist. It's just these sort of crisscross lines there, and it's like that's like a thumbnail. That's his chest, and then so he's running, so he's like just the back of his leg is kind of just here, can be jaggedy for armor, and then his thigh sort of comes down to the middle that way, and then his other shoulder, so it's just kind of up here. Is that arm? It's unusual. Okay, so we'll go this way, and then the arm just kind of runs off that way. And then, so then he has a leg here as well, like a spiky armored leg, and then his crotch sort of goes that way, and then he's got like abs and stuff. down here so this is like his shoulder so then we should see what looks like a bicep Am I right there and then his forearm kind of goes this way off that way so that's his leg so this is like armor that curves across this way So if you do this curving line sort of coming across the legs like that, it makes it look like it's more of a rounded thing. 
All right, so you just want to add like that texture everywhere. So it's like you're throwing a net over him. So like say on the shoulder, it'll be round and then down this way, see that? Very simple way of doing texture. Right, so I like texture them all up that way. And then, so like all those bigger spikes, right? So on his back, so go like, boom, right? So they're like real big. And they're like glowing pink or purple. Go off the back of my, top of my page there. And then more sort of no, I meant one, two, three, I can see. So we'll go sort of another one sort of here. Okay, so that's our boy Godzilla. Pretty much and of course like there's like debris and all that kind of stuff but i'll do that sort of all at the end we could draw and draw it in now or at the end do -do. okay so godzilla then so let's see not godzilla kong should i say do, 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 do. Right. So he's going to be up here. Let me see if I can zoom in on his face a little bit. Sorry, now. Hopefully I edit this out. If I don't, I apologize. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so he's got this like arm that goes in behind Godzilla here, and then his head is like down here. So that's the easiest way to start. We we'll put him here, right? I'll go with his mouth first. So I think it's like easiest. So top of his his top lip, right? This sort of shape going across here, and then his mouth is open like real wide, as you can see, like. The edge of it and then goes down in and around here okay so it's kind of ovalish sort of shape so then he has these big fangs that come down from the top of his mouth right there and then like four smaller teeth one two three four and then another so a big fang here. And then like an edge to it, and then just these smaller teeth in here. I think we can see some more teeth coming down that way, but right, we can see like some skin going down here. More like it was put, it's being all pulled down that way, and then we got like a big fang here, and then a big. 
big fang here as well. And then again, like four teeth there. And then his tongue just sort of bumping around. Kind of like a sort of a love heart sort of shape. And then the back of his throat will be sort of there. And then there'll be like some molars just there as well. Okay, so above there, then we have a nose, right? So we'll bump this sort of around like this. And then his nostril. Like that, right? And he does have like sort of wrinkles and all stuff on this. mouth and everything and then he has a big frowning eye right but it kind of like it's, you can barely see his eye he's got this big sort of wrinkly frowning section here right and then his eye is like underneath it barely visible right kind of like that and then we have like his like eyelid lines and bumps underneath his eye and stuff again this is like heavily frowning and he's got this bumpy wrinkly forehead situation that goes down that way and then all these lines in the middle and pretty much then the same thing on the other side so goes like up around here This like goes around the side of his head. It doesn't quite go to his ear, so I would say it goes down this way. And then his other eye in there. Okay, so that's a bit tricky, but try your best. And then he's got like these bags underneath his eyes. And his face is like framed in by like this sort of hairy beard section. So this is all like gorilla skin. But then his beard like comes down the side of his mouth. Right, so it kind of like comes in to a point around his eyes and then goes down. Okay, so it's kind of all hairy. So then he has like a hairy side of the head and an ear sticks out from each side, right? So 
hairy side of the head going that way. And we can see his round ear and around ear, the ear lines inside there. So we got to do his beard then. And he does have like a strong jaw beard. Like it's like, you know, it's a very big hairy beard basically. And it's just all spiky sort of hair coming down. It goes around the other side. Textures all on it, of course. All these hairlines and stuff. And this head just comes out from behind the ear sort of area, round yet hairy. Kind of a furry situation there. And then there's just like some texture hair lines just coming across. Like that, and that's his head. Now, so his, right, so his chest, like comes out from looks like that's the central line so his body's been pulled all this way and then his chest muscle goes up here and then returns back in just kind of like with hair going that way and then the other chest muscle going up that way and then his shoulder is quite big, right? So it's like right up at his ear. And it's a hairy shoulder. Because you might have like trapezius sort of. There. And then we got like a big bicep. Which doesn't have a lot of hair on us, but it does have a bit. And then it's like tricep. going down that way and then his forearm comes across here big simian sort of forearm going that way and then his elbow sort of hangs down but again it's it's pretty hairy And his fingers kind of disappear in behind there. So, so like I think what fingers can we see? Some. So if that's like the star of the finger. Let's say it is so. We can probably see his little finger. And then it's kind of furry on the top. You know, he's got that, those furry sort of knuckles. And this is all far. And he's running that way. And then the inside of his body there. And then like abs and stuff. Oh yeah, and he has scars, didn't he? Coming across his chest. And then should we see leg? Yes. So the other arm is like high up, comes out from behind his head. So this is like his other sort of shoulder muscle area. Just there. Right. And then like that. And then the side of his body there. And then his bicep kind of goes this way. But then we have this gauntlet thing, right? 
attached. All right, so this is like furry shoulder. So leg is all furry. Should we see his other leg here? And he's running. So side body, maybe we should see other leg. Side body, what way would that go? Leg here somewhere. Right, and then that gauntlet, okay? That's sort of, not gauntlet. Yeah, gauntlet, that's the word. I speak English. <laughs> so this thing is kind of gold, right? So it's just like, it's got a couple of plates and stuff on it. So if you want to add like way more detail to this, you can, of course. But I can only see a little bit of it. Goes behind here. It's just got all these curved lines. And like what looks like some clips or something. All these mechanical things are always like really complicated. Like there's way more stuff in here. So I can't really like something else there. But it goes behind Godzilla. So da -da -da -da. So, there's like a circle or something here. Right, but that's basically the boys. So then, um, like rocks, debris, if there's explosions happening. It looks like a crazy scene. It's like it's, when I saw it, I laughed out loud. I can't believe they did this <laughs> in this movie. <laughs> like it's like a slow motion scene, like in a like a like a cop chase or something. It's, it's just crazy that they're just giant monsters running like this in slow motion. <laughs> Brave of the filmmakers to do this. Anyway, the running scene, which will like be famous forever. Definitely. Godzilla. And Kong, New Empire. Can't wait for it. See you in the next one. Bye.